Hi, how are you today? Thanks for joining me. I'm doing a vase today with resin. I have already put a base coat of black fluid acrylic on this vase and let it dry. It was just um, artist loft flow acrylic in black mixed with flow tall and water. If you've ever poured acrylic fluid art over a vase, it's just, you know, a typical medium consistency. Put it on a cup, let the paint flow down the sides nice and smooth, and let that dry for a couple days. Now I'm adding my resin. So this is crystal resin. It has about a 40 minute working time, so I have plenty of time to work with it. And I've mixed it with a black mica color passions onyx pearl so it's a really beautiful shimmery black mica covering the entire vase with this re black resin and smoothing it out making sure I get my bottoms bottom there's one bottom I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of heat. So I'm going to be doing a really simple design, just some stripes around it and three different golds. That's Just Paints Golden Beach. This is a luxury gold and Blingit's uh, Interference Gold from Color Art. So the luxury gold I got from a friend, she sent me a sample, uh, Michelle from um, Artworks Resin Canada. Thank you, Michelle. This is a beautiful color. I'm going to have to check if it's La Res or Color Passion. I can't recall right off the top of my head, so I will put that down in the description and let you know exactly which, which gold it is. I know it's called Luxury Gold, but I'm not sure what the brand is. So I'm just taking the three golds and just alternating them, just putting down strips of resin. I'm not going to be doing anything overly complicated. I just wanted to see what this would look like. I wanted something that was really elegant and classic and simple. Nothing too crazy. I want um, quite a bit of black showing through so I'm not going to be adding a ton of gold resin just enough I think and I just go around and I keep adding a little strip here and there to break it up unfortunately the bling it interference gold and the just paint golden beach are very similar it's really hard to tell the difference between the two of them here in the video you can see a little bit of variation when you see the vase in person, um, but they actually ended up being very similar in color. And the luxury gold next to the two of them looks almost bronze, but I think the combination of it is just gorgeous. So I just keep playing around with it, letting it turn around. Adding heat helps that resin move around a little bit as it turns. Those, you know, those thicker areas will thin out a little bit, stretch out a little bit. And I'll show you the final results in just a moment here. I do always keep little keychain bookmark candy silicone candy molds handy because I almost always use or mix up too much resin especially on small projects like this it's it's easy for me to to get carried away and and mix up too much resin so I'm getting quite a large collection of keychains but I think I'll actually be doing more with my keychains because I made some over Christmas and they were a lot of fun to actually add beads to and everything like that but anyway I have a large collection of small small molds laying around
and that way the resin doesn't get wasted. And I do have to say, after I finished this vase, I went out and bought about another six of them. And another turner. So I'll be able to do more vases and also more tumblers. I hope to do more tumblers in the new year. So here it is about, I don't know, an hour later, still turning. And a photo of the final results. Thanks so much for watching today. Please hit that subscribe button and let me know what you think in the comments. Bye.